box two box is back with another video varvar what are we doing today this week we're going to be doing a squad builder episode but you guys are going to be deciding who enters our teams how do we do that varvar we asked our instagram followers a bunch of questions exactly like this now if i were to say mo salah i would get the number one answer on the board because he's the greatest african player of all time but varvar if we guess mo salah and that's the top option do we get mo salah not necessarily. Mo Salah is going to have a player associated to his name. So you get the player that's associated to him. Melly, since you've always been the host, we're going to be doing a coin toss to decide who goes first. You call it in the air. Let's go. Tails. I, I fumbled it, but it is heads. It's all yours, big man. Yeah, you're okay with that? Okay. okay. Don't okay. hit the player, hit the game. Varvar, give me the first one. We're going to start off with right center mid. And the question we asked our fans was... Free kick outside the box. Who's taking it? Not Lionel Messi, though. Paolo, do you know free kick takers? That's the question here. I do know free kick takers, Millie. And I, there's some big names. There's sure a, there is. There's a Brazilian big name. There's an English big name. You know more than me, brother. On a recent documentary of a fellow. But I'm going to go with a crazy answer. I'm going to go with JWP, James Ward-Prowse. No. Oh, my goodness. Paolo. He doesn't even play for like a top, top team. Are you sure you want to keep that answer? Varvar, I'm starting off exotic. I could be off the board, but I know our followers didn't watch David Beckham live. Definitely not Juninho live. So yeah, it's, it's what they know. James Ward-Prowse. You know what, Pala? I like that pick for you. I like that pick for you. Pala, you're dropping a couple answers there for your, for your enemy there on the other side. But James Ward-Prowse is a top answer. You get Steven Gerrard in your team. Oh, okay, no, I didn't boy. expect. To, I was trying to be different. But I didn't expect first answer. First answer, right off the bat, I got some competition here. You do. Millie, are you going to use Palace help that he said a couple names there, or are you going to go off the board? Varvar, I will not be going with those legendary names. But those are two and three, Millie. I, pfft, I think there's one name higher than that. Give me the interlegend, Roberto Carlos. You're biased. You're biased. He might be off the board. Give it to me. So I'm meant to believe that Roberto Carlos is an interlegend, but not Lukaku. That's what I'm meant to believe right now. Varvar's trying to bait me there with the Lukaku shout there. I'm not going to fall for it. Not on the first, not on the first player, Varvar. Come on. Let us know in the comments if Lukaku is an interlegend because he definitely is. Millie, for Roberto Carlos, he's number four on the board. You get Edson Alvarez from West Ham. Class player, in my opinion. Listen, Varvar, who was two and three, by the way? Beckham and Juninho. Pala basically got a clean sweep for this question. Millie, this was a light introduction. Welcome to the contestant side. Don't even worry about it. Listen, I'm just stretching the arms here, stretching the legs. This is a long game. This is a process here. I'm welcome, ready to go. Welcome to the Shark Tank. Varvar, can we get our next question? Now for the next question, it's only fitting that for goalkeeper, we ask, who's the best goalkeeper of all time? I'm going to have to stop you right there, Varvar. There's only one answer. Millie? I mean... I don't know what, what our fans said, because I have one Italian Don. GB. It has to be. Give me Gigi Buffon. The Italian bias may be hurting you here because our fans really don't agree. He's number three on the board and you get, I guess, a pretty good player. Jan Sommer into your team. Jan Sommer, inter legend. He honestly. He's More been, than Lukaku? More than Lukaku? He's been class right now, so. He's been class. He's been class. <laughs> He's more of an Inter legend than Lukaku. That's what the Inter fans tell me. I don't know. Literally, literally the bar is so... There actually is no bar for Lukaku. Lukaku lives so rent-free in your guys' head that you have to, you have to make 30,000 whistles. And we didn't even get to use him because he never touched the ball. It's Unem a shame. Unemployed activities. It's a shame. Pala, enough about unemployment. Give me an answer. Varvar, I will give you an answer, but I'm not getting rid of the unemployment line. This is a man that is currently unemployed. Iker Casillas. Unemployed. Iker Casillas, our fans don't think he's the best of all time. He's number two on the board. You get Peter Cech. I'll take Peter Cech, okay. but that's crazy. Wait, wait, exactly. I have to know who number one that's is crazy. because they're, they're, if this brother got votes, actually, he does deserve to be in the conversation, but one, that's crazy. I think it's because they're too young. It's what they grew up on. True. Manuel Neuer is... In my opinion, also number one. I agree with you guys. I think he's by far the best goalie of all time. Uh, I mean, he's up there. Varvar. He's up there. It's because, like, Casillas' prime was not as 
flashy as Neuer. As Neuer, like he wasn't that sweeper yeah. keeper. Yeah, and just Neuer is just a beast physically. Exactly. But Casillas was consistent for 20 years. And one, play. like he contributed to like a World Cup and and multiple Euro. Why are we Cups. talking about Casillas? Casillas is not the one that's second. Buffon is second, and to be honest, Casillas is not even near Buffon or, or Neuer. You know, what? I vibe with you boys. I vibe with you guys. I that's like that. that's a top pick right there. That is a good number two. That's why you my boy, my dog. And if you said Neuer, you would have gotten Buffon in your team. And also number four was Yashin, which you would have gotten you Jordan Pickford. But the last one, if you got no one on the board, you would have gotten Elan Melier. So thank 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 you, Elan Amili. Our our followers pretending like they ever watched Yashin. Yeah, with the, with the in the fog, <laughs> in the fog with the goats on the field. Hey, <laughs> it's almost. Did you see that goal Ronaldo scored a couple weeks ago? It's like he's playing in Yashin's time. Oh my god, this is Yashin. <laughs> That's Yashin. <laughs> Goalkeeper is done with. Now we're off to right wing. And for right wing, we asked, who's the most clutch player of all time? But not Ronaldo or Messi, because then it's one and two easy. Paolo, you get to go first here. And I, think and I will go first. There, there's a lot of, there's like a lot of names. Oh, there's a ton of names. There's, there's guys like, like Origi that have scored clutch goals, but I wouldn't consider them clutch players. I would consider Giroud more clutch than Origi. Origi, Milan legend, respect him. Aguero, clutch in a certain moment. I agree. As well as Mbappe. But I'm gonna go with a guy that has proved he's been clutch. Karim the Dream Benzema. Oh, my, that might be a top pick. Millie, you actually think that's gonna be a top pick? Sure, <laughs> sure. Millie, it's actually not even on the board, so you actually get yeah. Alex. It wasn't my pick. Oh, yeah, you're right. Pala, you get Alex Iwobi at right wing. Alex Iwobi. That's Alex a, Iwobi. He's that's a class. Don. That's class. He's a Don. He was in. He was in. Um, Pape think? Mate Sars. Pape Mate Sars. Top five African team. Yeah, let me look that up real quick. It's there, bro. It's there. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. He actually did make his five aside team. Millie? Who are you saying? Pala, you actually mentioned this Don. I did? You did. The man who scored. A hat trick in the World Cup final. Origi. Unfortunately, it was not Origi. Give me Kylian Mbappe. That's not a top answer on the board. It has to. Oh my goodness. He was clutch. You do not know ball, my brother. He was clutch. My, our fans know ball. But and they're going to put Mbappe number one. This is clutch. This is clutch. It's actually so funny how as soon as Origi joins Milan, he becomes a trash can. Just like every other Milan player. But Mbappe is number four on the board. And Mili, you get Barcola, the PSG Don. Uh, Bar who? Not, not the PSG player I wanted on my team, that's for sure. I think I would take Iwobi over Barcola. Um, he has a bit of like name tax, Iwobi, but like Barcola's that guy. Which guy is that exactly? He's one of the best in the business. <laughs> Millie, I actually think he's really underrated and actually a really good player. If you would have said Drogba, you would have gotten Robin. If you would have said Di Maria, you would have gotten Di Maria. And if you would have said Origi, you would have gotten Kulusevski. So. I don't know. I think you still did decent. Barcola is good. Di Maria on this list? I, I said Drogba too. Drogba's I was even there. thinking about Drogba. I picked the wrong name on your list. But <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the fans like they they do go back, but and sometimes, sometimes they, they stay. Don't. They stay like James yeah. Ward Prowse. Exactly. But Drogba topping this list, that's class. He res I, he deserves. I it. respect whoever voted for Drogba. Montreal Impact legend. True. We just did right wing. Now we're gonna go into the defense and pick our first defensive player, left center back. And for left center back, the question is, who was the worst transfer of the summer? <laughs> this whole this whole list is just I know my answer though. Red Devils. <laughs> okay. Whole list. Oh goodness. It do be red. It do it do be red. Red Manchester red though? You guys need to start watching Manchester United games because no Red Devils should be on this list. You guys should start watching this game because there's no Red Devils should be on this list. There is absolutely none. <laughs> Paolo, who are you picking? It's you. It's you to pick first, my friend. Millie, who are you picking? <laughs> I'm picking another United legend, Mason Mount. Ooh. How does Mason Mount even come to your brain there? Because honestly, he's been really good. I'm sure he has, but <laughs> he's a really, really good. <laughs> But you know, 60 million, it's a little steep considering what he's done so far. That's a depth player at most. If you want to be successful, if you want to be Manchester United mid pack, eighth place, no problem. He's literally been a starter on a Champions League winning team already. 
Oh my, we're going oh way my back. God. Crucial player on a Champions League winning team. Way oh back, boy. it's 2021. Oh so was boy. he? So was Ari at some point, and now he's in the unemployment line. Wah, wah, wah. Well, anyways, Mount on my list wouldn't even be close to the list, but for the fans, he's number two. You get Thiago Silva. Oh, I get a legend Thiago on the Silva. Team. Thank you, Mason Mount. That's Thank all you. you've done so far. Enough of this Mount slander, Pala. I better be hearing a certain player here. When oh. you think of the Mason Mount transfer, Millie, what are you what are you corresponding with that transfer? I'm thinking Chelsea Dons on their way out. Nicholas this Jackson. It's got to be Nicholas Jackson. I know he just scored a hat trick, but faux show, faux show. Be. But no, I'm I'm ashamed to say this, but Arsenal fans, we can't even defend this guy anymore. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz would have been my choice. And he's your choice to you get the number one option, which is John Terry, a Chelsea legend for a Chelsea scrub. It's because I know that there's too many Arsenal haters out there. They're just they're jealous of Arsenal, so they're gonna they're obviously gonna say Kai Havertz. But but Varvar, use that same logic. He was he scored in the CL final. He's so good. It wasn't that long ago. Difference is that Kai Havertz has dropped max a five out of ten every single game, and Mason Mounts a seven out of ten consistently. You're a 7 out of 10, Barber. Tough. That side over there is just horrendous opinion after horrendous opinion. We'll let it slide, though. The next position up is central attacking mid. And for central attacking mid, we asked, who's the best passer of our generation? And Messi's included. Pala, this is a tough, tough question. Is it, though? I mean, is it? Because there's contention at the top. But at the top, there's realistically only a few names, a handful of names. Very true. Who exactly would you say is in this handful? Vavar, I'll tell you who's in the handful. I'll tell you one day. You'll KDB, think about it. <laughs> Messi, Xavi, not Messi. I'm going to go with KDB. KDB is not even on the board for me, to be honest. But on our fans board... He's actually number one. I don't know what you guys are thinking. You get Kaka for that. Let's go. Oh, our fans, man. You're killing me here. Barbara kind of scared me when he said he's not on the board yeah, for I me. Like, I was like, what? What do you mean? And I, all that for Kaka. Millie, who are you saying? I'll give you some hints. I, I have an Italian Don in mind, but my Italian bias is not working out for me. Ooh. I'm not. Are gonna, you going to say? Uh, I know who you, I know you know that I know. Miretti? Exactly my thought, but I'm gonna go the Spanish route here. Give me it's between honestly Xavi or Iniesta. Okay, well, um, you know who the better passers. Yeah. Are. Give me Xavi. Okay. Walk it in. Calma, calma. Give it to me. If you look at charts for passing, Xavi's always by himself in another galaxy compared to all these other players. I would have him as the best passer of all time, maybe. Maybe next to Messi, but on your list, he's number two. And for that, you get Mesut Ozil. Oi. One and two. Uh, one and two. I'm okay with that. We're I'm reading okay the that. demographics that are watching us. You know what? We're, our fans know ball. And we know oh. our fans. We know our fans. We love you guys. Thank you for Ozil. <laughs> Arus Pachuchu. Arus Pachuchu, indeed. The next position is left back. And for left back, we asked, who's the best team outside the top five leagues? Pala, this is an easy one for me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. Give me Idragao Porto. Really? Millie, Porto would not have been my answer. And not many of our fans picked that. They actually had it number three. And for that, you get Destiny Udogi, the man who just got sent off against Chelsea. Udogi. Udogi is a class player. It's in his destiny to be on my team. I had to hit it. I'm so, that was that was horrible, Millie, first of all. They call me Mr. Corny. Also, when's this guy going to start for the Italian national team? He will soon. Calma. Right away. It should be right now because he's better than Federico Di Marco for sure. Even okay. though I'm a bit of an Interisti myself. Okay. Yeah, I need you to calm it down. <laughs> I need you to calm it down. I'm an Interisti and a Laziali. Yeah, you're everything, Barbara. You guys Clearly. must be severely unemployed. And a Madridista. <laughs> We're, we all have every, something in common. We're all unemployed. Mm -hmm. no, I'm a Juventini. I'm, I'm employed. Oh, then yeah. you are definitely unemployed. <laughs> Spare change. <laughs> Spare change. Spare coaching. Spare coaching. 
touch my hair, Koji. <laughs> Millie, you're about to see a master at work. I'm gonna give you all three other options. Galatasaray for sure. Whether or not they're the best out of the top, outside the top five leagues, they got one of the biggest fan bases active. They're there. I'm gonna go with PSV and Feyenoord. Just powerhouses, especially are, fan bases. Those are dons. And you know what? A lot of those fans show up on our page. Exactly. I'll, I'll tell you, two out of the three of those are actually on the board. You have a decision to make, my brother. I don't That's know why. Crazy. I just see this name popping up on our comments everywhere. It's PSV. They show up. So that's what I'm going to go for that. They show up. They definitely show up, but not on Instagram. They aren't even on the board. You get the Barca legend, Junior Firpo. Oh nice. my God. So that means Alatasaray. Bro, I had a 66% chance crazy. of getting it. That Galatasaray and Feyenoord on the board. Oh it, man. If you said Galatasaray, you would have gotten Roberto Carlos. If you said Feyenoord, you would have gotten Andrew Robertson. And the missing option was Benfica. And if you said them, you would have gotten Kostas Tsimikas, the Liverpool legend. Oh my goodness. We both went for Roberto Carlos. But Firpo better than Tsimikas? I didn't say it. He said it. Firpo is way better. I mean, he's playing in the championship now. You know what they say about the championship? Who would want, if you ask a person that didn't know the sport, would you want to play in the Premier League or the Championship? Which one sounds better? Which one sounds better? <laughs> it's the Championship. It sounds better. That's what I'm saying. I play the Championship. <laughs> just for that, Pala, I do not want to hear you speak for the rest of the episode. We just did left back. Now we're going to go to left wing, and it's only fitting that for left wing we ask, who's the most entertaining player of all time? That is a terribly broad question. I've been told by some of my pals on the, the Sunday League that I am the most entertaining player they've ever watched. They've never seen me play, that's for sure. You're entertaining because it's it's a lot of fun to laugh at you playing, Paolo. Are you talking to me or are you talking to Paolo? Both talking, of you, to, to be honest. Because <laughs> Millie is actually my backup striker. And so. if I were to compare him to anyone, I would say, if there's any NFL watchers out there, Trent Williams would be my comparison. Hey, listen. I'm more of a Deion Sanders myself. I'm, I'm, I would love an NFL contract. However, a Porto contract wouldn't be so bad either. Look, if there's anyone that works out there for Porto, let us know. We're trying to do something over here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a trial at Porto. I'm not. I'm about to show up Champions League. I'm going to... Belling goal! Belling goal! For Porto. Forza Benfica. But Millie, you got to answer this question. Most entertaining player, you're looking at one of the greatest Brazilians of all time, in my opinion. True. Brazilian top scorer. Okay. Give me. Now you've, you've I'm, veered I'm about off. to hype him up. I'm about to hype him up. You veered off. Give me Neymar Unior. Neymar is number one on my board. He's also number one on our viewers' boards. And because of that, you get Neymar in your team. Vamos, my team. That's an automatic win in my books. Neymar on the team. We are cooking. Let's go. The fans, you missed on this one. You, you, missed, you missed hard. No, that's a 100% that's a hit. Ronaldinho was a much more entertaining, entertaining player than Neymar. Bar none. I don't know Uncomparable. I don't know what Neymar was about. more efficient, maybe, maybe. But Ronaldinho was the epitome of Joga Bonito. So just to confirm, that's who you're going with, Pala. 100%. Ronaldinho is number two, and you get Frank Ribery for that. Hey, you get Neymar for Neymar, and I get Frank Ribery for Ronaldinho? I mean, I, I, there, there's some people that would take Ribery over Ronaldinho. Who? Who are these people? I don't know these people. I'm looking at him right now. Who are you looking at? Well, he's looking at me. I don't understand why he's looking at me. And by the way, if anyone ever compares Ronaldinho to Neymar, I'm not having that conversation. Neymar levels and tiers above Ronaldinho. I'm just saying that right now. He, he's just saying that. And then there's a different tier above Ronald, R and Neymar that? and Ronaldinho. Who's that? Ribery. Mr. Thomas Muller. Oh, no. He said it. He said it. Listen, he may he not be the most it. entertaining player of all time, but that's a man that's going to retire with a better legacy than any of these Brazilians. Yeah! The second he retires, I will never hear the name Thomas Muller again for the rest of my life. And I, I might, I think I'm going to enjoy it that way. I already stopped hearing Neymar's name. Where's he been? Where's he been? The almighty Al Hilal? I haven't heard his name once. I'm going to, I know I'm going to hear his name because he's going to get re-injured somehow again in March because it's his sister's birthday. March 26th. 
We know that. We are invited to the party. <laughs> it's actually insane how every year he gets injured around that time. The next position we have up is right center back. And the question we have here is, who are your dark horses to win the Champions League? Vava, don't tease me like that. It's a tough one, though, because who do they consider a dark horse? Like, in my opinion, do they consider my boys Inter a dark horse? Definitely a dark horse. I don't think I've ever seen anyone pick Inter for a CL win. Millie, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. The, the stats, the updated percentages of teams winning the Champions League, uh -huh. Inter and Arsenal are tied on 7.4% chance of winning. And you know what? That's an underdog in my opinion. What are United's chances? Zero. Yeah, they, zero. They didn't appear zero, on the zero, list. Zero. They, we didn't scroll down more enough. Oh, it's like Chelsea United. in the Premier League table. Okay, I got it. Oh, oh my God, oh, 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 we got him. Oh, we're not even Chelsea fans. Eighth place, fans. eighth place. Eighth <laughs> place. I don't know if Arsenal fans would, because Arsenal fans would obviously, they would say Arsenal, but do they consider them an underdog? Because then, then you know it's a little bit of a hit at the pride. Yeah, because you always want to be favorites. I no, or, I, I don't consider us. I don't consider contenders. Arsenal favorites per se. But, but you want to be contenders. Contenders, yeah, exactly. But realistically, aside from Real and City, there's really everyone no, else yeah, is pretty kind much of there. On the same level. Um, so I, I think know, I'm tough. gonna say I'm gonna say Arsenal. I think that's a solid shout. That'll get you like because the haters are saying third. Arsenal. Well, actually, no, are the haters saying Arsenal? But are the are our fans saying Arsenal? What are you saying? What are they saying? Arsenal wouldn't even be on my list. They have not looked good all season. But on your list, they are second. And you get William Saliba for saying Arsenal. Uh, that's not bad. No, that's pretty good. That's not good for I have me. John Terry next to William Saliba. Mid and elite. I can't wait for Neymar to just chew you up and spit you out like that. I'm going to chew you up and spit you out if you say... Millie, red card for that. Next answer. Pala, I'm gonna go with my gut here. The what is what is that nice Italian gut telling you? This gut telling me go pick Inter Milano. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not, no wonder it told you that. Amala, Millie, your Italian bias did not help you this time. They're number four on the board, and for that, you're gonna get a Cherby in your team. That is a CL final player. He should have won. He's gonna win the Scudetto this year. Lazio legend. He's gonna right win a treble. He's gonna get a big move to City next season. And guys are gone. Right next to Thiago Silva, we cooking. He's gonna finish. He's gonna finish the game of Calcio in two years. We cooking. Look at that. I'm cooking right now. So you got number four, Millie. But the top answer on the board was Barca. And if you can't beat Shakhtar Donetsk, I don't think you're gonna be the dark horse to win the Champions League. So Barca fans, let me know down below if I'm lying. But you, you are not winning the CL. And you would have gotten Puyol for that. And for Newcastle number three, you would have gotten Sven Botman. For, this, is, this is the problem I have. You cannot say Barcelona, who spend millions and millions and millions of dollars, sell their club to get Lewandowski, to get all these top, top players, and then call them an underdog or a dark horse. It is absolutely ridiculous to me. They should minimum, at minimum be contenders every single year. So Chelsea, having outspent every team we've mentioned so far, yeah. should be Champions League favorites. Well, mm, they got to get yes, the Champions, the League, Champions League, League favorites. Chelsea, how many wins do they have in Champions League this so, year? So Manchester United, having spent probably more than... We are Champions League, League favorites. Oh should my. be Champions League favorites. We're yeah. the Champions League favorites. Your how many favorites Hoyland is the top scorer in Champions League. He's uh, going to carry us. Your favorites to actually go fourth in the group. That's what your favorites at. That's tough. That's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Meli, we do not need slander like that. It's okay. I'll see you in the round of 16, brother. Next position up is right back. And for right back, we asked, who's the next big club manager to get sacked? So big clubs, no Juve over here. Paolo, would you- And he said, screw me. And I said, what for? <laughs> Barbara, I feel like this is a question you did not want to ask because I think you know the answer here. The answer is not who you're thinking of. Sure, sure, Paolo. Like, I think you know it too. The, the issue is that you have no choice but to say it. Yeah. Vavar, give me Ten Hag. Ten Hag is number one on the fans' vote, and you get Philip Lom. He's not number one. He's not getting sacked. 
Ten Hawk gets me Philip Lom. That is unfortunate. And you're about to sack him too. That's tough. We are not sacking a top five manager in the world. It's not happening. No, you're so gonna totally sack him. Dude. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's already I some names. It. There's already some names being thrown into the mix. I, I see the bonfire already made. That's tough. Enough of this cap. Paolo, what are you saying? I'm stuck, Millie. Uh, I got a couple other names in mind, but I got a Premier League one. I'm stuck and not like th those movies that you, you kids be watching these days. Um, I'm between Poch and Tuchel. But there, only there's no way we just let Palace slide with that comment. I was, so listen. Hey, none of you guys gave a reaction. So. I, I, I right. reacted. Uh, Barbara and I went. Millie, good. Millie, it's it's the month of November. We'll let him off. Uh, we won't say anything. You we know, it's, it's always a tough month, November. <laughs> November is a tough month. It's tough. I always gotta go with the mustache. Yeah, it's the mustache. <laughs> it's so. getting cold outside. <laughs> it's a little. It's a little chilly outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get the cold out. That's what's get... up with November, Paolo, Who are we saying? Um. Um, I'm gonna go with the <laughs> I'm gonna go with the guy that lost the DFB Pokal in the round of you're going Bundesliga one hundred and sixty thousand Tuchel. You're going Bundesliga on that one. That's I don't know what it's our November. fans are thinking. I'm thinking about Bunda. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way you somehow turned it into that, bro. <laughs> That was creative. I'll give you that. that Look, I, I'm rarely impressed. I was impressed with that one. That's good. That one was good. That was a good one. Lifter, I'm impressed by Varner <laughs> Trophy. <laughs> well, look, at the end of the day, I'm surprised the Serie A merchants didn't say Rudy Garcia, maybe Poch. Tuchel was actually number two on the board. So you get Jao Cancelo for oh, that. Oh, no. Juve legend, Inter bomb In reject. Inter legend, Inter legend, Inter, Inter legend. Man City legend, Man City legend, Valencia legend. <laughs> <laughs> Bayern legend. <laughs> Barca legend. So now we're going from the Bunda to the Prem, and we're going to ask for striker. Who's the best Prem striker of all time? It's got to be Anthony. Mm. Martial. Uh, yes, I agree. COVID Martial was a top five striker of all time in the Prem, without a doubt. Oh, boy. Had me thinking we just signed our nine regen. Oh, what about when Rashford went striker? That was the best ever. Rashford striker makes me want to bleach my eyes out every single time. But left wing, better than Leao, for sure. <laughs> Leao in this conversation, goodness gracious. Guys, we're going to get Milan kit, thinks he could bring up Leao. Good. People don't want to speak about it, but Leao inconsistent this season? I don't know. He's having he's having an up and down year, not the greatest. Find score, me a goal, winger. score a goal in the Champions League challenge, impossible, he impossible. Doesn't, he, doesn't, he actually doesn't celebrate his goals in the Champions League, it's crazy. AC Milan is really humble. This was filmed before the PSG game, by the way. We're just letting that slide. Just in case Leao I, scores a goal. I don't really think it's going to change. Doubt, I doubt he will. <laughs> <laughs> help, help, help. Okay, enough of, enough of this. Who are we picking? Millie, do I have first pick here? This is you, man. I can have first or second because I don't think you're picking this guy because I don't know if it's the popular opinion, but I have no choice but to say it. The the most powerful striker I've watched in the Premier League of all time, TH9, Thierry Henry. I wasn't even thinking Henry. Oh my God, that's a that's a good pick. Skill-wise, I think he actually, Juventus legend, by the way, I think he actually is the best striker of the Premier League of all time. If you say so. Millie, the fact that you said you're not even thinking about him is super disrespectful. This guy, on his day, well, I don't know, he was on his day often. And on his day, he was a player. Uh, he was such a good player that he was actually number one on the board. And for that, you get Luis Suarez, Liverpool Luis Suarez. Oh, so I picked oh. the best Premier League striker of our generation and I got the best striker of our generation. That's, that's insane, man. If Henri is our generation, then we're retiring soon, Pala. Get the canes out. Get the cane out. Oh. Kane, Millie, are we picking? Varvar, I'm actually going to go the United route once again. I'm not going Robin Van Persie, though. I think he should be on this list, though. I'm going to go Wayne Rooney. Give it to me. He has to minimum be three. Three or two. No, no. I think this is a salt. I think that's... If, if Tyrion Reese won, which is I didn't think was going to be one. Uh, that, I know, but it's warranted. Like, he deserves yeah, a one. But it's a one-two. It's I'd, Mr. Premier League. Watch me get off the board. Wayne Rooney would have been one of two of my choices. But he's actually number two on this board. And for that, you get Carlos Tevez in your team, Millie. Okay. Another Juventus Don. I mean, listen, Tevez isn't Suarez, but 
City legend, United legend. By the way, not enough respect on Harry Kane. By far the best striker I've ever watched in my life. Other than Suarez, other than prime, prime, prime Suarez, Harry Kane, the best. I'm so glad I'm not var, var watching football. My goodness. If that's, that's the most entertaining striker he's ever watched. low, man. Oh. People like to compare Benzema to him. Lewandowski. Those guys aren't even on his tier. The only striker in his tier is prime Luis Suarez. I'll die on that hill. You th you You're dying alone, bro. Do you think Kane will have a better Bayern League tenure than Lewandowski? A hundred percent. Look at him already. Look at him already. How do you say this stuff with a straight face? He oh, won't have the longevity of Lewandowski, but the years he's there are going to be better than any single year Lewandowski had. When, when he scores hey, five goals a whole in nine minutes, this, yeah. you let me know, bro. This is a whole different conversation, but we will not be there to watch Definitely Bar not. Bayern. I, Tevez right on my team. Juve legend. Question mark. To what are the top four? Are you be legends? Just saying. <laughs> oh my god. So we're now down to our last position, left center mid. And our question for left center mid is who has the best fan base outside the top five leagues? Best fan base outside the top five leagues. This is that's there's a, a lot of one. That's, that's an lot. interesting question. Yeah, listen, you got flares getting shot out of stadiums out of the top five leagues, man. These guys go crazy. Manchester United would be on this list 100% if it wasn't top five leagues. Varvar definitely needs to go actually watch a game live because apparently the comments of people that have been to the games saying that the atmosphere has never been worse. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a complete lie. I heard there's like cricket. You can hear crickets. Yeah. In what? The San Siro? No. No. no, in Old Trafford. You guys play a Milan Derby once, twice a year, and those are the actual only good games at that San Siro uh, all year. You guys have brother. ultras? We have ultras. You don't yeah, have ultras? Ultra garbage. The Juve fan are. says the Juve fan. A bunch of they got bald Englishmen going. Come on, you United. Come it, lads. United, United, United. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's the selection? <laughs> this is a very, very tough question, Paolo, because we, we have some crazy fan bases on our page. Oh, so you're you're directly, you're not actually thinking about the real. No, no, no. Right? You got to think here. This, this is the fans voting. So... Like our top regions, it's like Turkey, Ireland, like, uh, Portugal. Yeah. Besides like the Italy. There's Netherlands. some Eastern Europeans. Yeah. yeah. Those, those some Balkans. some from Netherlands. Yeah. We, this we see tough. you. We see, you're actually. We, we see you guys. Man. You you would be assumed to be a minority. You would think it would just be Prem fans. No. German. But it's they're actually. The, yeah, they're loud. They're loud, man. Millie, enough blabbering. I need an answer. We're the CEOs of yapping. CEOs of yapping. What are they yapping about? Uh, Millie, put that yapper to good use. Let's go. Let's go Celtic. What? Those boys, no ball. Not Rangers, show, Celtic. They show up in our comments, man. Every single time. I see you boys. I think that's off the board, but I'm going to shout out Alistair Johnston. Yeah. And Ange Postacoglu for making that team great. They're Dons. Pala acting as if Celtic did not exist before Ange. Celtic's actually number one on the board, Millie, and you get... One of my favorite players of all time, Andrea Pirlo. They're what? What? They're one. Definitely number They're one. one. Celtic flood our comment section all the time. Very, very good. I fan don't. Base. I don't I, see the. I don't see no shamrock. We might need that. to. Crazy. We might need to take a trip and go to a Celtics game. That, that's Celtics, on the bucket list. Not Celtics. The, not the Boston Celtics. The <laughs> Celtic. Let's go watch some basketball. <laughs> Let's go watch Jason Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> no Celtic. That'd be crazy. Imagine we watch a Rangers oh, Celtic man. game live. That's all four insane. of us. That'd be that's the dream right there. Bucket if list. anybody if anybody wants to send us tickets, someone knows someone. If who knows who, that's crazy. Honestly, props to you guys for showing up in the comments, mm -hmm. man. That's crazy. But Pala, I think you know, like I, I, you know, pretty much who the other three are. I thought this was for sure number one because they're present on TikTok. They're present on you. They're present everywhere. Stro and they're actually good on the pitch. I think I know who you're talking about. And they're about. actually good on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. This is. The, the ones that upset it, upset it. Is that even a word? It's a word now. They were upset when they played at Old Trafford and they beat Manchester United. This is Galatasaray. They show, man, they show up in numbers. Galatasaray are not even that good, to be honest. Man United were just poor that night. But they're number two on the board. And for that, you get Chabi Alonso in your team. Oh, he's good. Mauro Icardi, that's, question mark? That's a, t hey, it's a legend right there. But, Vavre, what are the options? I, I, we didn't even, no, no, but we didn't even mention Boca Juniors, River Plate. Those are big, big like, clubs. Those weren't even on the board. That's, That's crazy. Because there's like 
Fluminense, and then there's all like the, yeah. the Brazilian well, teams. Every as time well. we mention someone that's Brazilian or a player that's Brazilian, they flood the comments. So here are Pala and Millie's teams. Let us know what you guys think of the teams and what answers would you have said to each of these questions? Let us know down below in the comments and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. We really enjoyed making this video for you guys today. We like that we included the fans in this one. If you guys want to see this done again, let us know in the comments down below. We love you guys. Muchos gracias.